In a move that shook the pillars of Formula One, Adrian Newey, the mastermind behind Red Bull Racing's most triumphant era, has officially announced his departure. Known for transforming Red Bull from an underdog to a dominant force in F1, Newey's exit marks the end of an era. But as he prepares to wrap up his involvement with the RB17 road car project in 2025, the racing world is buzzing with speculation about his next move and life at Red Bull after his departure. Adrian Newey's departure from Red Bull Racing is not just a loss of a key team member. It's a seismic shift for the team he helped elevate to the pinnacle of Formula One. His unique approach to design and innovation has led Red Bull through countless victories and has significantly shaped the team's competitive strategies. As he transitions away, the team must navigate maintaining their performance levels without their chief technical maestro, challenging the very foundation of their future plans. Debates often arise about who truly drives the success at Red Bull. Is it just Newey or does the credit belong to the collective genius of the team's technical group? This question reflects not just on Newey's contributions, but also on the collaborative effort that has characterised Red Bull's approach. Pierre Watch, alongside Enrico Balbo and other key figures, have all played significant roles, suggesting that while Newey's departure is monumental, the team's foundation is robust, built on collective expertise and not reliant on a single individual. When asked by the media on Newey's importance within the team, Max commented, Adrian has been incredibly important, but in the end the roles were mixed up a bit. That's fine. You evolve as a team and as a person. I would have preferred him to have stayed, but we have great qualities in the technical team. They know exactly what to do. They have shown that in recent years. While Max and team have a lot of faith and Red Bull certainly do have technical depth to endure the loss of Newey, the true test of their technical prowess would be from the 2026 season onwards, with regulation change and a new power unit developed in-house by Red Bull powertrains. Christian Horner, Red Bull's team principal, has vehemently denied that internal strife influenced Newey's decision to step down. Despite this, rumours persist of a tumultuous environment within the team, exacerbated by a power struggle that could have nudged Newey towards the exit. Such dynamics raise questions about the stability and future leadership within the team, especially as they continue to compete at the highest levels. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has labelled Adrian Newey's departure from the squad as a big loss for the reigning world champions. With the 65-year-old's next career move still up in the air, Marco admitted his exit is a blow to the Milton Keynes-based squad. He may not have always been involved in the day-to-day -day running, he may not have paid attention to every detail, every screw, but he was the one who controlled the complex knowledge of aerodynamics and mechanical grip of the whole car. McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown has said his team is experiencing an increase in CVs being sent to it from Red Bull staff after Adrian Newey's resignation, something Brown claimed he was not surprised to learn. I think given everything that's gone on since the start of the year and knowing Adrian Newey pretty well, he's a very high-integrity individual. I'm not surprised he is moving on. I think with the stuff that's going on there at Red Bull, it is a bit destabilising. It's probably the first domino to fall, my guess is not the last, based on the resumes flying around. Imagine Adrian Newey lending his genius to a team like Ferrari, currently without a clear technical director. His arrival could spark a renaissance for the struggling giants offering a fresh conceptual vision right in time for the new regulations. Newey could set the stage for Ferrari's resurgence, steering their design philosophy while empowering their technical team to refine and execute his visions. Speaking recently when asked about Newey joining Ferrari, Lewis Hamilton stated that he would love to work with him. Newey's response was notably coy, emphasising his desire for a break, but leaving the door open for future possibilities. Such interactions highlight the profound respect and admiration Newey commands within the sport, underscoring the impactful nature of his career decisions. Where will Newey land next? This is the question on everyone's lips. Given his unparalleled skills and experience, any move he makes will heavily influence the F1 landscape. Crucially, there's no gardening leave to serve for Newey, and he would be able to start at a new team as early as March 2025. While many speculate about potential stints with other racing teams, perhaps even a sabbatical is on the cards for Newey. His next steps could redefine his legacy and possibly shift the technical battleground of Formula One. With Newey's departure, speculation around Max Verstappen's future with Red Bull has intensified, 
Despite contractual ties until 2028, the stability and direction of the team in a post newey era will be crucial in retaining their champion driver. Verstappen's confidence in the team's direction and the technical support structure around him will be pivotal as Red Bull navigates this transitional period. Toto Wolff from Mercedes is hot on Verstappen's heels, offering him a blank cheque and an ambassadorship with the German marquee if he decides to join them. Verstappen Sr. has also cautioned that losing Newey could lead to an exodus and instability within the outfit, and that despite having a contract till 2028, they will keep all options open. As we edge closer to 2025 and the completion of Newey's final project with Red Bull, the RB17, the motorsport world watches keenly. What legacy will Newey leave at Red Bull, and how will his departure reshape the future of both his career and the team? His next steps could lead to exciting collaborations and innovations in the world of Formula One and beyond. For Red Bull, the challenge will be to sustain their competitive edge, proving that they can thrive in the high-stakes world of F1, even without their legendary designer.